things you don't think about if you don't have a clue. Or you're some thug in the hood who has decided to do what you do. Venice Beach surpassed Disneyland a years ago. And to my understanding, it's still the top tourist attraction in the world today. When you think of the history here on Venice Beach, you think of the doors, Jim Morrison, the Beach Boys, tons of films. When I think of all the films that I have done, random crowd shots or cameo appearances in, um, just because I could. Yo! Uh, Let me see you before you leave tonight, Massa. Um, some friends of mine. Let me just say, when you come to play in Venice Beach, clean up after yourself and don't be abusive to others. Venice Beach cares, at least the people who are here that I know, who really care about how this mystical bohemian tourist trap is rock and roll with the Venice drums of Colin, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and everybody from Adam Sandler to the Saturday Night Live crews or Burt Reynolds or you just never know who you could bump into at Muscle Beach. A white man can't jump. Shut right over right there. Or mm, LAPD. Hmm. We have a reward we're going to be offering. Uh, details will be coming soon. Uh, I have been a victim of too many hit and runs. Those aren't accidents. That's targeting. And in 24 hit and runs now... No clues or convictions. Bullshit. Start pulling the fucking videos that are in the neighborhoods of the dates, times of those accidents, and let's start putting some people in jail. As a multiple victim of violent crimes, as a humanitarian, as a federal contractor for several federal agencies, I'm going to invoke several federal agencies as a victim of violent crimes under mercies laws and other laws that will be newly adopted, I assure me. I have to help subsidize them myself uh, for victims of violent crimes and police corruption or government corruption or involvement, which is certainly the case in my case. Venice Beach has been part of my home since I first came to California for the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson and Sheena Easton and Ed McMahon and Doc Severinsen and Fred Corbida and Billy. Do I know the staff well? Um, yes. I knew the staff well, obviously. Um, I learned a lot from Johnny and Fred, rest all of your souls, and the Tonight Show cast, Ed McMahon. They were people who took me under the wing and gave me a lot of advice over the years, as did Peter Jennings and, and many other people. I have been blessed to work with some of the most brilliant minds in television and film and broadcast in rock and roll uh, and beyond. Technology, JPL, NASA. The credits that are published are true. I don't have time to make up bullshit. While there are those who question why I would walk away from a million, multi-million dollar career in Hollywood, um, I was asked to retire by my government in 1999. I'm the most overworked, retired citizen on planet Earth. I have been sent on foreign missions with uh, the State Department of the White House into uh, Eurasia, into Central America, around the world um, on diplomatic missions or peacekeeping missions. Notice the word I keep using is peace. So when I see things from leaders all of a sudden I want to have a peace in the Middle East, why just in the Middle East? Why can't we have global world peace, Donnie? 
Oh, there's some people you still need to be shooting at. It's time we get honest with America and the world. America has been a big problem. It's been our way or the highway. I think it's time we need to start to restore planet Earth and Extinction 7 or get ready for Armageddon. I mean, the choice is yours.